Hi y'all, it's Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings and I have another little project for us today. We're going to use up some of our, some more <laughs> of our 6x6 paper pads. I realized when I, when I moved, um, when I, when I started unpacking everything, I realized I have got two drawers, two drawers full of 6x6 paper pads. Some of them still haven't even had the little thingies off of the side of them. And so I decided at the first of the year, um, I need to use up some of these 6x6 six six paper pads. So my little granddaughter came over for spring break and uh, she's my crafting buddy and we have, we have, we just had a ball. Uh, she's nine. She's my youngest, our youngest granddaughter. And uh, during the day we would scrap. We would make journals, we would make stuff, we would just have all kinds of fun. And then at night, we would watch videos so we could figure out what else we need to learn. So, this one particular night, she uh, had she was already in bed and ready to go. And I was coming in, so she had my phone, and she was on YouTube, and she was looking around. And when I came in, she said, Nana, I want to make these pockets tomorrow. And so I said, okay, we can do that. She said, but we have to watch the videos tonight so we know what to do. And I went, all right, you got a plan. So we decided that we would watch these video. And then I was so excited about her taking the initiative and finding these on her own and telling me something that she wanted to make on her own. And I, for straighten this up just a tad I uh well I don't know anyway uh I forgot to to take note of whose video we were watching to make these little pockets so I apologize for that if you are the one who made the video please get in put it in the comments and I'll I'll try to to make that right, that right, because I don't like to uh, not give credit where credit is due. I just got so excited and forgot all about that, so I apologize, but uh, anyway, so we have these three little pockets, and we're going to put them, we're going to make one of each one of them today. Now, the first one, this one was her favorite. This one has, um, it, it's kind of like I thought it looked like a tuxedo. She says it's more like a t-shirt. And I thought, okay, at nine, she probably doesn't have a clue about tuxedos. We'll call it a t-shirt. And then we have a couple of little tags here that fit in. And so we're going to make this little, little, uh, little pocket. Now, when we get ready, you don't have to, you could decorate the back of this. You could put journaling on the, a space on the back of this um, whatever you want to do with it I decided that I would just I'm gonna uh, glue on the three corners here and make another pocket so that's why I put this little thumb tab here and then we'll have another pocket right here for that one to slide into but you don't have to do that you can glue it down you can clip it in you can do whatever floats your boat so, but for right now, we're going to make one of these little t-shirts. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a 6x6 six six piece of paper. And this one's kind of wild, but this is what we're going to use. <laughs> and it is 6x6, six six, so we are going to cut it in half. And we are going to do 6x3. We only need one of these. So we can save one for later. Put it up here. Those are all of my little six by sixes that I've got. And, and <laughs> saving them for when my granddaughter comes back. So, all right. We're going to take our six by six and we are going to fold it in half. Okay. And we're going to burnish this really well because this is kind of a... It's, it's lightweight, but it's still kind of a cardstock, and so we want to make sure that it gets really burnished well. 
And then um, we're going to take this top part here and we are going to make a little slit. Just a little slit down here about three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to take this little corner of this little slit here. See, we've got a little slit. And we're going to take this and fold it down at a 90 degree angle and make a little little square there. Then we're going to do take this one and fold it down the other way and do the same thing. Okay. And we've made the little collar for our shirt. Okay. Very easy. Then I'm going to put a, a little thumb punch right back here, just so that we know. Um, that one's a little big. Ooh, kind of a monstrosity. Let's see if I can find the smaller one. That one will work. So we're going to put this right back here. Yeah, more or less in the center. And have, have a punch. Have a thumb, thumb hole, whatever, call it, doodad thing. And then we're going to ink because, you know, I always ink. And so we're going to open it up and go right around the edges. You don't necessarily have to, to ink the back. It's just that I always do, just in case I decide... Because I, I do make these a little, uh, I'm, I'm making them ahead of time. Now we need to fold these little, <coughs> excuse me, these little points here out so we can ink the edges of these. And we're going to ink the edges of this one. And then we're going to glue these down just so that they stay. We don't want our collar flipping up, so we're just going to glue these two little points down to make our little shirt. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Got some little little stripes going on there. That does make it look a little more like a t-shirt, doesn't it? Anyway, and then we're going to ink the inside of this because this is going to show. Not worried about necessarily all down the side or anything but and because the paper kind of cracked a little bit we're going to ink on the bottom now then there we go we're going to take our glue and go right down this side and right down this side there's no need to put any glue on the bottom because it's folded there so that is going to be the end of the bottom of your pocket nothing will fall out that way so there we go. And there's our little shirt. Now, we put a little bit of um, decoration on here. So, let's see if I can find my decoration bucket. And this time, I think we're going to use some silver ones. Just, just to kind of change things up a tad. Now, I, uh, I got these. At, I think I got these at Dollar Tree. And so I paid a dollar and a quarter. It's now a dollar and a quarter tree. But I paid a dollar and a quarter for this whole sheet. And I've used the hound out of these things. I love them. And I'm going to just lay here and measure. That is going to be one too many. So we're going to check right here. And cut this off. And slide right down here and cut. Cut. There we go. Now, where did it go? Oh, it's still stuck to my scissors. Alrighty. So, we're going to get some glue and we're just going to write as best we can. We're going to try to make a straight line of glue right down the front of our shirt. Now these little things are um, 
self-adhesive so they have a little piece of they're on a little piece of plastic that that has adhes adhesive on the back of it but I'm never real sure how that's gonna hang over time so I always put a little extra glue on there just to make sure and we're going to take our little piece and put it right here at the top so that it's in at the the point of our shirt and glue it down now it looks like i still got one too long so maybe i did maybe i didn't cut it where my finger was or what i thought i was doing but come on let's put that down there that's pretty straight and then we'll just cut this one little nubbin off here kind of scoop this up just a tad well now I got it all crookified let's see if we can get it straight again well goodness gracious I think I have kind of piddled around so much that my glue's kind of dried. So let's put a little more glue on here because we sure don't want it flying off. And there we go. don't know why I have such a hard time with making things straight. I think my eyes don't see straight things. So, okay, so there we go. That's our pocket. That's all there is to it. Now, we've got some, uh, some tags. I, I've got a stack here that I make, and I have these little tags here are uh, just cardstock. This is a, a, a linen linen cardstock so it makes it have a little texture. Let's put you down in there. These are, this one is three and a half by two and a half. This one is two and a half by four. So it's a little bit longer because I want the one in the back to be able to stand up a little bit in front of this one. So we're going to decorate these. This one will go in that far. Then we have a little bit of extra on the other one so that it can stand up and you see that there are actually two tags there. So what we're going to do is going to get our little corner punch thingy my bobber here. And we're going to um, round off our little corners and we're doing a decorative one for the top. And then I'm going to do just a round one on the bottom. I just think that uh, when the bottoms are rounded a little bit, um, and I managed to already get ink on it. I don't know how I managed to do that so quickly, but I do. And uh, But I think that when the, the bottoms are rounded a little bit, um, they tend to slide down in the pocket a little bit better, or at least I think they do. So, therefore, in my mind, that works. Alrighty, so then we're going to get some ink. And we'll just ink around. Okay, we're going to ink around on the back. kind of put some ink on the back because I always tend to get ink on the back of it and then that way it makes it look like it's supposed to be that way not that I just made a foobar and made a mess so there we go we're going to ink this around and around you do not have to ink if you don't like inking um, I love to ink. I, I ink almost everything I make. So, but 
a lot of people don't like it so if you don't that's cool you don't have to now we've got to uh decide what we're going to put on here and we put butterflies on that one just because i i like butterflies but dragonflies are really my thing it's just sometimes hard to get these where they can be seen um although that one looks pretty nice right there and i don't know since we've got red where did my pocket go here it is since we've got red on here maybe a red dragonfly might work better oh i kind of like him and then of course you know finding an oh there's another one right there it was meant to be because it was laying right there on on top just like it was screeching out to me to say pick me pick me that's a cute one but that one's a little small to just put on her tag so let's go with these guys so i put you back in there and we'll use you for another time so uh let's pull this off my favorite part of the whole process is tearing these little plastic things off of these little sticker things and i never know what the best way is to get this off of here i just don't get it don't know why they can't make this easier there we go i think did we get it off i'm not sure yeah we did we did yay 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 get my tweezers here so i can put you on a little better and we're gonna put you right like that now i thought that these could go the opposite ways but they don't so they're going to be the same and so we're going to try to get this one off come on baby i just i just don't get it on these little things and why they have to be so difficult there we go got it got it okay and we'll get our little thing here and we'll do our best to get it on there evenly look at that is that not cute all right then we're going to cut off just that little edge these um these little stickers on the acetate have a little border around them and if you can position it on there and you have to cut that little border off it doesn't cut off any of your butterfly all right so then our first our littlest one our, our, our three and a half inch can go right in here ah that looks really nice with the the red collar and then we are going to have this one because we're going to put it on our on our paper let's see right here's our paper and we're just going to glue around here here and here stick it on our paper and then we can put our second tag right there and everything would be cool then if you want to put something else on here that kind of goes with the journal that would be perfect you get to decorate it how you want to decorate it and make it your own but very very simple little pockets okay put my paper clip on here to show that this that way i don't forget that this pocket goes with that card when i put it in my stash it'll they'll come out together so there we go one pocket done and then we'll put this one oh i used that one's pocket paper clip so i guess i gotta find another little paper clip and put on there 
And let's do our second pocket. We're going to do this one next. And this one, very similar to the first one. Well, no, it's not similar, but close enough. All right, so we're going to cut it at three inches. That's going to give us a strip of three by six. Three by six. Now then, this one, it didn't make any difference where it goes on the page. It can, because my, my stripes are right here. And this is a solid side. So, but on this one, it's going to be a little different because you have the pocket, whoop, access to the pocket from this side. Okay, so you're going to have to look at where it's going to fit on your pocket, on your page. So if you're going to put it right here, that would work because it's going to access from the center. But if you put it on the other side, right here, you could put it up against the edge, but your pocket is still going to come from here. To me, that gives you a chance of your pocket falling out. So I'm going to put it and fix it like this so that it will fit over here. I hope that made sense. I, I, I don't know. So, we're going to take our 3 by 6 and we're going to fold it in half. Again, we're going to cut it down really nicely, or burnish it down. And this time, instead of the fold being at the bottom of the pocket like it was on this one, this time it's going to be on the side of the pocket. Okay, so your straight edge is going to be right here. We're going to take the top piece and fold it down. Not all the way because we want to see the border around this pocket so we want to see that border uh -huh. right there that's really all there is to this little pocket now we can ink ink around the bottom we can go ahead and ink all the way around because this pop pocket also could be used as a standalone uh, and by that I mean it's something that could just be paper clipped into your book uh, if you want to glue it down you certainly can do that as well it's up to you so but if you're going to use it as a standalone meaning that you're going to paper clip it in or you're going to use a bulldog clip in it or whatever um, then you need to make sure that the back looks nice too because here's your paper if you're going to just paper clip this in see if I can find one if you're just going to paper clip this on and do it like that that's great that's great uh, you eliminate the pocket behind but that's okay you don't want them to all be the same anyway but when you take this paper clip off, you're going to be able to see the back. So you might want to put a little piece of journaling paper back here or something else to make it a little more journaly. Okay. I've got the tags and that's what I'm going to do with the tags. So I'm going to put another little thumbprint right here, which means need to go back and ink that up. Should have done that before I did it, but I didn't. Really need to make that stand out. It's kind of hard when your background is also brown. Uh, okay, glue. Now, you have a decision to make. On this one, I only glued right here on the inside. Right here. That left me a little pocket here and a little pocket here for these little tags. You can close off this one and just have one pocket. Or you can glue the entire flap down and not have a pocket at all. And that's cool too. Okay. Um, but I'm going to glue it like this half and half. 
provided I can get the glue to come out of my glue bottle. I really have got to clean this little nubbin out a little bit. And I'm just going to halfway, just halfway. You might put a little down here in this corner and a little down here in this corner just to hold the corners together. Fold it over and hold it down. Okay, there we go. And now, once again, your pocket is made. Oh, it's not made. Let's put some glue down here. There we go. Now, your pocket is made. All right, so if we want a little small uh, tag here, and then we're going to make a bigger tag to go back here, and we can put some kind of little something right here to kind of decorate it up a little bit. This is floral, so um, I don't know. Maybe we could do some flowers. So let's see what kind of flowers we have here. And I think most of the ones in here are are kind of okay. No, that's pretty. Um, I don't think it really matters. It's just that the yellow ones are here on the top. Hmm. Now there's two that are the same, so that might work. Oh, I like that one a little better. It's uh, got a little bit more greenery stuff on it, so I think I like that one the best. So we'll put these back in here. Don't have to use yellow. You could use pink and purple polka dotted if you want. Uh, let's get this. We're going to use another side of our, our punch here. Do this one. Get our rounder and do the bottoms just because they kind of slide in a little easier but that could all be in my head as well okay get all of our little little nubbin pieces that go in the trash i don't save those <laughs> my husband would be surprised he thinks i save every piece of trash that i come across He's so funny. He does his best to help me save things. And he'll always ask me, okay, can I throw this away or are you going to use it in your scrapbook room? And most of the time I'm going to use it, but for now and then I tell him, no, go ahead and throw that away. That's trash. And he says, well, I never know. And I'm like, I know, baby, I know. All right, so we're going to ink these up around here. Like I said, you do not have to put two, par uh, two tags in there. You can certainly do whatever floats your boat and makes you happy. We're going to put this. Now this one, see, I put some words on there. You can or you don't have to. That is entirely up to you. That one came off a little bit easier. And let's see. If we can put you on here relatively straight. Perfect. Get this one. Get this one on here too. Maybe it'll come off as easy as the other one did. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Here we go. I got it. I got it. Sometimes I think they, they do come off better from one side or the other. But when uh, the two sides are stuck together, it's hard for me to tell which way is which. So, all right, let's just give this a little burnish down. Just to make sure they stay. Probably should have put a little glue in there, but I didn't. All right. And then we need some kind of something right here. And I do have some little floral um, 
I guess little bouquets, that's way too big. Um, since I put yellow flowers in there, I probably ought to have some yellow somethings. That's too big. These may all be too big to put in here. Let's see. That one's, that one's pretty big too, but I sure do like that. I think I can just cut the edges off of that, and I think that one will work. So there we go. We have our choice. And, oh, that one came off super simple. I'm a little tweezers. And I'm going to very carefully put you, we're going to lose those little berries, but that will be okay. Yeah, I wonder if it would be better. I think I'm, instead of cutting them, I think I'm just going to fold them to the back. And that'll work just fine. That'll work just fine. Oh, you know what I just did? I just covered up our pocket that we left there. So, there you go. We have no pocket now. But that's okay. That's okay. So we're going to put this one in here. And this one can always kind of sit a little cockeyed if you want it to. This one is probably pretty much going to be straight just because of the way the, the pocket is made. Again, put glue on three sides and then you have a little pocket to go on your page. So there we go. We have our little pocket. Tag number one. Tag number two. And if I hadn't gotten so excited about the sticker here, we would have had a little t uh, pocket here and a little pocket here that a little little ticket or something like that could fit in. But I didn't leave one. So there we go. Pocket number two is done. Let's get you back down there. Alrighty. So we have our second pocket done. We're zipping right along. Put these together. Once again, I used my paper clip. I uh, don't have very many of those left. I need to make some more. And we'll put you right there. And we're ready for our last pocket. I must have been in a red mood today. Got that one. Alright. Um, yeah. Okay. I was just trying to decide which way. I need to cut this. We're going to cut it three by six, but sometimes it does make a difference which direction you cut it, whether you're going to cut it across this way or up and down this way. But because we're going to fold it, I think this way our birds and our music is right side up and we want it to be right side up. Okay. Here we go. Now this one is a little more foldy, and I'm going to do it so that it opens up on the other side. This one opened up on this side. We're going to have this one, or doesn't open up. It opens up on this side. So on this one, we're going to have it open up on this side. Okay? First thing, very similar to the last one, we're going to turn and fold this down Almost, but we're going to leave a little border, little border right around here of our, our tag, I mean our piece of paper. And then we're going to turn it and take this corner. We're not going to glue the whole thing down. We're going to take this corner right here and we're going to fold it up in line with this corner and fold it down. Okay. So there we go. We have that one. And we can see a little bit more of the pocket. Okay. Now we're going to ink. We always ink. And ink right here. And ink right here. Here, ink right here, 
all the way around. Oh, this, up this direction. We're going to fold this little or glue this little corner down simply because as we put things in this corner pocket we don't want them to get stuck so I'm just kind of gluing that down and making it fit really nicely in there and then here excuse me now let's turn our pocket back the right direction we want this whole thing to be open for a pocket so when we glue, we're going to glue right here on this corner, down to the corner, kind of close off that side, and we're going to do the same thing right here and close that off. Put our glue down, or put our glue together. And there we go. And there we go. Let me, like I said, some of this paper kind of cracks and breaks when we fold it because we have to fold it so tightly. Now we're going to close off the bottom. And our pocket is done. Very simple. Three simple little pockets. Just kind of depends on how you fold it. Okay? So now we've got another little little place to put a, a tag another place whoops we need a big one okay and we're going to put that one right there now the thing about this one this one has little birds and that would be really cute but i don't know that i have any small birds here on the table but i do have oh i said some mushrooms and the mushrooms would look really nice with this red. But I'm afraid all of these may be too big. Let's see. Let's. I don't know. Because I, I know that I don't have any tickets over there. But I do have bird tickets. And bird tickets could fit in here. That'll work. All right, so we're going to get us a mushroom here. How about you on the front? You're a little smaller and put you on the back one. I think that'll work. We can get our other little corner punch and do a, make it look like a little tag. And... You up there, get our little rounder for the bottom. Okay, these little pieces, I tell you. All right, and I think I'm going to do the same thing on the corner of our pocket just so it looks like the other things i have to ink that up just a tad because now it's white but that's okay we can do that put our little one and our bigger one so we're going to ink around just a little bit kind of take off those white edges you know i don't care for the whiteness it's so starkly white and it kind of I just not not a, a fan okay glue or er, ink these around here get some glue on our sticker I guess these are stickers they're they're really kind of fussy cuts they're uh, they're not adhesive 
so you have to apply glue, but I got these from, um, let's get you right there. I got these from, um, I think I got them from Louisa Heinzel, and she also has a shop here, uh, a channel here on YouTube, and she has an Etsy shop where she sells lots of beautiful, beautiful digitals, and, uh, then I, I buy these and print them out, and then I just kind of sit and cut them out while I'm watching TV or this, that, or the other, and it works out well for everybody. Okay. Then we'll go around our corner. I think I inked the back of those flowers, but that's all right. We don't have to do it every time. I do it most of the time, but that's all righty. Okay. Right on down here, right on down here. Turn it over. So now we have a pocket for this one and one for the pocket on the back. Again, you do not have to you do not have to glue these around around the edges. That is entirely up to you. Now I do have uh, some little bird tickets if I can find them. I know there's some birds. Love these little tickets. I've got five of them in various things and they're just so cool. So, all right, let's see what we can find here. Maybe you have a little red in you, so let's, let's use you. And let's see what else we have. I like you. Okay. And kind of like you too. So we're going to put three in there just because, well, just because we can. So we're going to put those back together. I lost my little nubbin string that held everything together. So there we go such as life. Oh, I'll put you in there in a minute. Ink these around. Okay. And we're going to put these down in our little baby pocket. Actually, it's a little tuck spot, I guess. And we'll do this one and get this one finished. go get you back up and then we can put our little pocket our little tags tickets I'll get it in a minute and we can put them all right down in there and have little tickets to go on our page we have a page and we have our little tickets and our third pocket is done now you can put another mushroom here, you could put a little bird, you could put a word, you can do whatever you want to with that. Excuse me, I am going to leave it blank for right now, and um, then when I use it in the journal, 
actually when I decide what journal I'm going to put it in, then I will decide whether a word or a picture or a ribbon or a bird or whatever would be more appropriate. So, but there's our, this, this is our prototype. This is the one we just made. Then we have our prototype and one we just made and our prototype and the one we just made. So we managed to get three pockets with six tags and three tickets done today. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, if you know who did this, please let me know and I will uh, try to make up for that in the description box. Um, I apologize. I'm usually better about keeping track of that kind of thing, but excitement just overwhelmed me this time and I didn't. So, anyway, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, if you haven't subscribed already. If you have, thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed, we would love to have you as part of our creative family here. Um, share with everyone you know. Our little channel is growing ever so slowly, but it is growing, and that makes my heart proud. Uh, if you do have a few minutes, check out my online store. Uh, I have a little Shopify store where I make lots of scrapbook things and put them in there. Uh, it's not just scrapbook things, but go check it out. See what you think. You might find something you like. And um, until next time, I guess, y'all be creative. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.